to my YouTube channel. Hi. Bye. So today we're just gonna do a little chit chat Q and A. Get ready with me. Spill the tea. Let's hope I don't There's spill no... my tea. <laughs> yeah, no, I hope not. Jeez. The carpet's white. How are you using for your skin prep recently? Um, road skincare. I have all my road stuff in Shane's house. Luke's moving house, so I cannot wait. Is he? Yeah. <gasps> It's further, like, I'm happy because it's going to be like a bigger room and stuff. And then I'm like sad because it's like double the time to get there. But you I drive now. It's double the time. Yeah, I drive now, so it's fine. I mean, like, it was like seven minutes, now it's 14 minutes. Try four hours, girl. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, first question is, if you weren't influencers, what job would you love to do or have had an interest in? So I wanted to go to art college. Did I wanted you? to be a fashion designer or an interior designer. So I think I would have taken my year out. Yeah. And then I would have definitely gone to, gone and done that. But I probably would still be in Brad Thomas now, though. Do you think so? Yeah. I don't know. I was a gymnastics coach. Oh. But, like, that was, that. like... I Because I, like, did gymnastics for, what, like, seven years? Or, no. Yeah, well, probably, like, I did it, like, for ten years of my life. Mm. And then I just started coaching then when I was in TY, I think. Or, actually, I think I was doing my junior cert when I started coaching. Oh, that's really young. I know. I wasn't supposed to be, so, whoops. Oopsies. Cash in hand. But um, <laughs> that's what I was doing. But then, like, I, I actually wanted to be a physiotherapist. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have to do it in a way, but then I'm like, no. No, no, because I'm not smart enough to do that. Okay. So what would have happened was I had sports rehab and physiotherapy down in my CAO. Mm -hmm. I would have done that. Wouldn't have gotten the points for it. Taken a year out and then, I don't know, became a criminal or something. Being in jail. Yeah. <laughs> okay, someone said... BS going on a lad's holiday. This is a touchy subject for Chloe. <laughs> Chloe's boyfriend just tends to like, he's like going out with the lads in like Berlin. <laughs> just gonna go on a night out. Yeah. The whole way across the other side of the world. How do you, do you, like, does it bother you? No, because I feel like I go on so many trips at work that yeah. like I only want him to go and have fun trips because like our, our work trips are so fun. Yeah. Do you know, so I'm like, Obviously going. I think there is just that stigma with a lot of time. I think like, what girls are afraid of really is like their boyfriend cheating on them. Yeah. You know, like that is like, oh my God, you're going to go here, get drunk with your friends in a nightclub and it's going to be girls. It's like yeah. the first thing that comes to your head. You can't be upset over something you can't control. Yeah. Like you cannot tell him, you can't physically be there and be like, you can't yeah. kiss that girl. If he's going to do it, then that was meant to happen and you're not meant to be together. Do you know, like... I just feel like you just need to relax. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or you can just be a psychopath. I don't know. <laughs> his friend's getting married, so he's going on a stag in Albufeira. Okay. And like, I'm 100% like, just go. Like, because. Yeah. Like, I have full trust in him, obviously. Mm. So, but I think it is so right. Like, if you do, if you are like worried that he's going to do that, then you probably shouldn't be in that relationship yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Like, is there a reason why you have that feeling? But then, like, maybe that's not why. You need to think of, like, what are you afraid of? Mm. Do you know? Or is it like just not maybe. The girl wants to be there too. Maybe she's like missing yeah. out on the or something. That's the thing as well. I always feel like, well, I don't know. Maybe if it's like just lads, like you don't want to be like the only lad bringing your girlfriend, but like why not go on a lad's holiday and all the girlfriends can go too? Like I'm yeah. assuming like your other friends have girlfriends that, as well. Yeah, okay. So that is also the problem is, or when your boyfriend goes on lad's holidays and all his friends don't have girlfriends. Yeah. And like their only reason to go on a lad's holiday is to get with girls. I and mean, then, yeah. while like, why else are you going? I don't know, for the atmosphere, <laughs> for the like culture, where? Yeah. Avos? Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck off. I think I the problem think. would lie where like he thinks it's okay to go on a lad's holiday, but like he would be upset if you went on a girl's holiday. Yeah. That's where the problem would be, I think. Yeah. I don't know, just go fucking have fun. Like, go on holidays together as well, like. Yeah. I think it, uh, it would be a red flag if like he wouldn't go on holidays with you, but okay. we would. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just making up things at this yeah. stage. <laughs> this is not the question. Someone said, oh, I think this is more for me. How, how to handle distance in your relationship and not being a five minute drive when you need the person. So me and Shane are four hours away from each other. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how you do that. I would like, I'm on FaceTime with him 24 seven, like literally, yeah. right, literally as you were pulling up to the thing, yeah. I was on FaceTime with him and I've been on FaceTime with him since this morning. Obviously there's a difference from like just being on the phone with someone and then actually like having them there. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know, I think distance makes the heart grow fonder, definitely. It, yeah, Cause definitely. like it makes me more excited to see him every time. Yeah. Sometimes when you need them, all you need is a little phone call and it doesn't need to be like that physical yeah. touch each yeah. time. Cause like you might just be a little bit stressed and you just want someone to rant to and you can do that over the phone. Yeah, I don't know, it gets it gets easier, definitely gets easier. Have you tried this? No. Rimmel Multitasker, Better Than Filters, Primer, Highlighter and Glow Booster. Just put it on 
all over my face. Oh, I thought it's, that was Charlotte Tilbury. Yellow. It's Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Oh, dupe. Look at that dupe. Dupe alert. So I use the shade. Iceberg. That's fine. <laughs> Zero <laughs> three light all over my face, and then in like my bronze and areas, I used zero zero six medium deep. It's so nice. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, is the Irish influencer community a good space to be in? Any tips for starting social media? I say this all the time. I think we have a really nice we do community of people. Yeah, we do. Definitely compared to like UK influencers, none of them are friends. No, like I feel like I'm watching some people. I'm like. You seem like you don't have any friends at all. It feels mm. like you can sense how lonely they are. In yeah, a way. no, absolutely. I've met a lot of UK girlies now. Like some of them are so nice. Like love Glam by Flo, love Katie Franklin. Oh, Jordan Lips comb, so lovely. I love her. Oh, she's, she's like... so nice. Has I love Has, but I went on holidays yeah. with her. Love her. Sophie Clo, love her. Like there's so many girls. I'm like, oh, you're all just so nice. But then like and there's other girls. I'm like. I'm gonna tell a story, right? So I was on a brand trip and I was the only Irish girl. And um, one of the girls, I was like introducing myself to everyone. And uh, one of the girls was like, so like, what do you do? And I was like, same thing as you. Like, that's, that's the reason we're here. I'm a baker. <laughs> I'm actually a neuroscientist. I was like, oh, I do fashion and beauty or whatever. And she goes, oh, okay. And then like, kind of just like turned and like blocked me out of the conversation from everyone no. else. Like I was like kind of on the outside and she turned, she'd already knew the other girls. That was a bit rude, but I didn't think anything of it. And then she goes, we, everyone was like, each other's socials because like some of us had met before but like not everyone she got my thing she looked me up and she's like oh my god lauren you've like a million whatever and i was like yeah 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 and she goes um oh we should make a video and i was like you're only oh talking to me now because god. you saw i had the mill like that's the only reason we and millie lear and alicia oh my god they're so nice they were in new orleans with me and i was talking to them about this as well and they were like kind of agreeing like it's really clicky mm -hmm. but like in ireland everyone's just friends like it's yeah. so strange like there's yeah. literally Nobody here that I'm like, I don't like them. Yeah. Like, and whether you have like 10,000, 7,000, whatever amount of followers or like a million, I feel like at events, everyone, is, everyone knows everyone. Yeah. Um, Do you remember we got that? Well, I got that from that one UK <laughs> influencer. And because if I'm with Lauren, this person is like, oh my God, hi. And if I meet this person on my own, it's like four times in a row. It's like, did we meet before? I can't get over that. Yeah. So... And we've met them so many times. So this we've stage, been, like, like, not even just meet, is in, like, being brought away to different countries with this person. Tips now. I think, I always say this to people, and, like, I don't know if it's bad advice, but I'm like, if you're trying to make it your job, it's not going to be your job. Yeah. Yeah, true. That is actually Because really I think, like, people think you're trying too hard and then they don't like you. Yeah. I think if yeah, you're just, like, true. enjoying yourself, posting, whatever, and just let it happen organically. Yeah, like, don't give up your day job. No, And yeah. then start a YouTube or a TikTok. I, no, I didn't try. And I yeah. think that's why it worked. And, like, everyone that you know that we know that is does have it as their full-time job they didn't try and make it their job mm. it just kind of happened yeah yeah which i th i think it sounds bad to say but that is the truth yeah anyone that like makes content makes it because they enjoy it they don't yeah. make it to make money initially yeah then it's going to feel like a chore it's not going to be fun and then that exactly. comes in your content you yeah know? exactly um okay. i'm trying the coastless concealer i think it's one i didn't i don't get coastless pr did you not no <laughs> i got all the kind of oh. kylie cosmetic foundations so. I was gonna say I'm an girl, you know. Would you like to have a child? What would your ideal age to have a child be if you could pick? I would definitely want a child. Jeez, yeah. I feel like you're such a mommy. Me? Yeah. I cannot imagine myself minding a child. Oh, I, I can. Bring can. Mind my dog. Like. No, I can. No. You're such a mommy. You give me mommy energy, like in a good way. Like milk energy. Um, I don't know if I want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be married first, which is so like probably not gonna happen because. People always want that and that doesn't happen. What do you mean? And people are always like, oh, get married first, then have kids, and then you just pop out a child. Like. No, I think pop out a house, then a marriage, then yeah, a baby. Yeah, house first. Luke has told me, like, I would get married now. Like, literally, right the second, so I'd get married. But <laughs> Luke has the idea of, like, we need a house first because imagine if he got down on one knee and then we come home and then he goes to his house and I go to my house. Yeah. And I'm like, well, this is fucking shit. I know. Like, no. no, I would agree. I agree with him. Then there's the curse of new house, new baby. And I know so many people that move What's into new, new houses. What's the new house, new baby curse? When you move into a new house, you get pregnant. Because then if you have a child, I have to wait until the child's like two or three. So I can walk. Then, like I, new, then I have to get married. Mm. You can't get married to a raw baby. Raw? You can't call babies raw. Raw, <laughs> yeah, raw infant. What? Did I say that? Like no. A raw baby. Uncooked like. <laughs> <Yeah>. Unseasoned. <laughs> <laughs>
you know what <clears throat> as bad as it is like i was always like for my entire life like i was like i never want to have kids like never ever don't want to will never don't like, i kept saying to my granny like don't expect a child out of me mm. second i got with shane i was like but i even i don't think i think it like even when i was single like i was like oh just never want to have a baby like i mm. like it wasn't even like i just thought like that wasn't for me but then when you i don't know the second i got with him i was like oh yeah you're also maturing though joe yeah i want to be Right, I'm 22. I want to be married at 26 at least. Maybe at 27. My mom had me at 27. I was like, that's such a good age. Yeah, my mom had me at 25. That's a good age too. That's I wouldn't mind. Your... Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Just get the mortgage out rolling. Mm. Marriage quickly. Elope. But bring me. I feel like if I had a child, Luke would run a mile and I would never see a ring. What? Yeah. He obviously wants to have a baby. He does, but not right now. We both have like businesses and I'm just like... We ain't I know, but like the thing is, I think if... Ye fell pregnant, it wouldn't be like the end of the world. Oh no, no. I wouldn't be trying right now. You know, now, I think like... it's so funny when people say I fell pregnant. It's like, what do you mean? You fell? <laughs> fell onto that dick. <laughs> <laughs> More or less, that's what they say. Or you know what I hate when people say, like, I'm trying for a baby. It's like, you're raw yeah, dogging yeah, every single Yeah, night. I don't want to know that. Gross. Like... Next question. How did you and Chloe become friends? So we were forced into friendship. We were actually tied to chairs and we were locked in our room for like 48 hours until we spoke to each other. Yes. And then because we're so traumatized by it, we've just it's, become We've really... trauma bonded. Yeah. I yeah. Think that... so. Me and Chloe met through our management. Yeah. When was the first, first time we met each other, we the stayed management. over in the hotel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was like extreme, Risky. wasn't it? Yeah, low key. Because I really quietly met me. Uh, no. Really? I don't, well, like I could tell you were quiet, but you weren't like, I think I could just tell you were a bit shy. Like mm. it wasn't like... I didn't think anything. Yeah. And Lauren just dyed her hair orange, so I feel like I met like the new Lauren. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. It was a new whole bitch. New, new, I don't know. Bitch. Like when I look at videos of Lauren blonde hair, I don't know that person at all because I didn't know her no, blonde hair. No, you didn't though. Like I was Nobody only watching does. your YouTube video last night. I was actually watching Olivia Neal and then, oh, should I say that? That's fine. <laughs> 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 Touch <yourself. Okay>, sorry. <laughs> And um, Lauren's video came up, and my mom was like, "Is that Lauren?" So we put it on. She was like, "Oh, she's a baby." I was like, "Mom, I've seen you." What video was it? It was you getting ready for your dibs. <gasps> yeah, and you have blonde hair, and it was just I was like, I don't know that Lauren. No, that is a know? different bitch, though. No, it is. Yeah, you were. So I had just joined my management, and I got me and Chloe got invited to a Mac event, and like our managers were like, "Who's invited to that as well? Do you like want to stay up together, like split the hotel because she's from Limerick, so it's like an hour mm. and then two hours away for us." From Dublin, so it was like obviously split the cost or whatever, oh, yeah. and that's the first time we met. And then, yeah, there we go, and they were besties. How long do you see yourself doing social media for? I people always ask me this. I'm like, I'm just gonna do this until I can't anymore. <laughs> yeah, like I have no other plans. Obviously, I don't see myself sitting down at like 50 years old, being like, here's my skincare routine. Hopefully, I um have a successful business by then, and like mm. social media is something that I just do when I want to. It's not something mm. I make money off of. You know? Yes, yeah. Like, I don't want it to be, like, my main income as it is now. But, yes. like, obviously, I'll do this for as long as possible. People are just going to get nosier and nosier and they're going to want to know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. And, like, exactly. I'm going to have a house and, like, kids and... Like Molly May. Yeah. Yeah. Now, going back to that question with the kids, when I watch her, I'm like, oh, my God, I want your life. Yeah, but she obviously, like, glam... Like, it's obviously very glamorous for her. She's also, she's, like, a multi... Yeah. Yeah. Did you see Anna Olivia's video the other day where she said her child to her phone out the back window of the car? What? Her like child was like, I think the younger one was like, oh mommy, can I have your phone? She gave it to her and she rolled down the window and chucked it out on the road. Yeah, do you know what I'd do? I'd actually throw the child out the back window with the phone. Yeah, so <laughs> this case. Is... <laughs> or her other video where like all her kids were, like both the kids were sick and she said there was vomit on her bed, the children's bed, there was vomit on the walls and the carpet. No, see, I wouldn't be no. able to do that. Like, I can't even wipe the shit off my dog's arse. No. When I have to, I'm like, ma'am, please. Sitting the leaving cert this June and struggling mentally with stress. Any tips, love you. I can't really answer this question. Like I did, obviously I did my mocks and I was preparing for the leaving cert, but my mental health was the worst it has ever been when I was doing that because I'm gonna blame my mom, Ma, if you're watching this. This is your fault. I would study four hours a day, more or less. So like I was in after school study, and after school, from four to eight, some seven sometimes. Like I would stay in that after school study, and then I would come home. And then mom would tell me I'm not studying enough. If your ma's like that, don't listen to her. 
Like realistically, when you sit down to study, how much is how much can your brain take? Like you're not yeah. just because you sit in front of a book doesn't mean that like yeah exactly. I'm just not take and that's what it was. What was happening? I was like, oh shit, I need to like act like I'm studying because mom thinks I'm not doing enough. So then no. I just wouldn't retain any of the information. Let's. I'm not gonna lie. I like barely studied for the leaving cert. You did well in your leaving cert, though, didn't you? I did okay. I, like I see. I wasn't going to college so I didn't have like points that I was aiming for yeah so I suppose it's different if you're like stressing about getting into college go college is not the end all or be all no like, it's literally. not there's so many other honestly of getting you're better off be. like doing an apprenticeship and doing a trade because you'll make so much money off that AI is going to take over yeah and all the other jobs will be taken yeah but even like me wanting to go to fashion college I would have needed 700 and I think it was like 750 what? something points so that's your leaving start plus the portfolio what? which I was like I am not getting but now I can do that this way, like this pathway. Yes. Do you know, so it's just... But like, there's always another... There's always, yeah. Another route there is, to yeah. do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Always. Um, so, how to not stress? Just don't. Just don't stress. Just don't think about it. Most of the stress that, like, students feel come from their parents more than anything. It's not even the thing on themselves. Because mm. I think we now realise there's so many other pathways to get into jobs. Yeah. But, like, our parents don't. Yeah, actually, old-fashioned parents love saying like oh my child's in college my child got yeah. this much in the leaving cert yeah like, no like if somebody asks you what you got in your leaving cert just <sighs> nobody has ever asked me what i got in the leaving yeah, cert yeah because it's no one else's business like no. why is that what has that got to you like sorry worry about yourself oh pinch me moment new york first yeah. new york and also new york fashion week that time i'm sorry i don't get to go jt oh. that's crazy yeah central sea was there what, With Ma Madeline. Fuck off. Yeah. New York for both of us. First time. Yeah. New York was probably. Terrible. That was crazy. That, just, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like being brought there. But like even all the production that went into that event. Yeah. Like the, like, cause, so we were there with Sarah B and they had like a Sarah B Academy. So they had this whole day that was designed around like an American high school. And then obviously at the end there was prom. Yeah. Me doing shots with Dr. Shah. So the Bryant. Booth by Brian. And Brian, Brian, Brian followed both of us yeah. and I was texting him after me like, oh, thanks so much. Yeah, <laughs> so nice like, to meet you. Like, he's so nice. Advice for someone who's never been in a relationship at age 20. Ooh, I don't think we're the right advice. people to ask for this. I've been in a relationship since I've been 17. And this is my third relationship. If me and Luke broke up. Well, I think you'd be fine, but like. I would never have talked to a man. I would. But ideal. I'm, That's the ideal Yeah, situation. true, yeah. I think there's a lot of pressure on us as like, I think especially young girls, like everything that you see like on TV, on like in those little magazines that you used to buy on mm. social media is all just about getting a boyfriend. Yeah, it But is, like yeah. it doesn't fucking, like, no. literally, I would actually prefer if I was single up until I was 18, I would have way preferred that. Actually probably time, t probably time to you. I would have loved to be single that whole mm. time. Like if you're in college, you're probably better off not having a boyfriend. Oh yeah, so much better off. Do you know, cause like you're studying and all that. Like I didn't go to college and Luke didn't, so it was just, Mm. Yeah, just embrace your single life. Like you, like you learn so much more about yourself. Yeah, single, definitely. Yeah, you need to. And even though I think breakups, you've never experienced a breakup. That's crazy to me. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm like terrified. <laughs> it's scary. Like, but like, it's so. It like it builds character. Yeah. Like I'm so much better. I'm such a better person than when I was before my first breakup. Especially my first breakup was traumatic. And obviously, While you can be young, in, like... in amazing relationships when you're young. But like. Don't go looking for one. No, I no. think also if you look for for one, the wrong people will find you. Yeah. But God, I spit in bars today, actually. Tips on getting a boyfriend or chatting to lads in general. Don't talk to them and they'll come up to you. I swear yeah. on my life, don't talk to men. Do you remember that person at that event? And we were like, why do we were just trying to ignore I think we can kind of tell the story. I think we can. Mm. Because like we did nothing. But yeah, we were at this event two years ago and they had a special guest and it was a certain Love Islander. Very random, actually. So unnecessary. Like, like, they were asking him questions. They were like, oh, you have great skin. Like, what do you do for your skincare? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm on the sunbeds. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> anyway, it was just anyway. like, so he was freshly single. So all of the girls at the event were like, flooding him like oh for my pictures. god like, like, literally it was like a tsunami. Like, everyone just He was went. like, just there and everyone was around him. Me yeah. and Lauren were like, the bar is now free. Yes, <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> a drink. So 
Anyway, we were just standing there and it was myself and Aoife and Evelyn as well. Yeah. So we were just standing there talking to other people. We were talking to like the girl running the event and like some of the PR people. We were talking to his manager and stuff, mm. like just chatting. And next thing he like looks over and like winks at Chloe from across the bar. I will never forget my face. I was like, like we were just looked at, and then she was like, did you see that? And I was like, did you see that? And then I was like, ah, maybe I didn't hardly like, I don't know. Maybe it was just an accident. And he yeah. does it again. We just so I just ignored the whole situation. Yeah, because like, like what do you do? It's like somebody behind me or something, and I was like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not drawing this person on me, do you know? Yeah. So then we were just like chatting away, and I felt the tip of my shoulder, and I was like, yeah, this man around. is tall just, as fuck. So you're I was like, like this. Hi. hello. And he was, <laughs> what he said was, oh, why didn't you come over? Yeah, I or no, to talk you to haven't. You. you haven't came to talk to me all night. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, were we meant to queue? Yeah. And talk to you for what? To get what out of it? Someone said, how do ye stay so close? I feel like me and my long distance friend are drifting a bit. I don't know, me and Chloe don't really talk. <laughs> um, we don't talk that much. No. But I think if you can go days and days and days without yes. talking to your friend and then like when you do chat, it's not like, oh my God, you haven't talked to me in so long. Mm. That's how you know that like, that is a friend. Yeah. Do you know, like I don't talk to loads of my friends. Like, my best friend lives across the road from me and my cousin is my other best friend. She lives around the corner. Mm. I would go days without talking to him and I I wouldn't think like, oh my God. Oh, they don't like me don't. anymore. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. do Snapchat and stuff, but I'm sorry, Snapchat and Lauren is like sending a fucking message on a pigeon. <laughs> and you get you get a reply like 14 days later. Yeah, but, but it's I reply fine. in the end. Because I know that that's Lauren. And if I really need Lauren, I'll give her a ring and she'll answer. Yeah, no, exactly. Time. Don't if don't text me if you need me, just ring me. Oh, if you could take one feature from the other, what would it be? <gasps> your ass. Just gonna be honest. No, I would. I'd take your ass and your hair. I love your lips, first of all. They are... My lips? You, you look like you've got lip filler and you haven't. And I just go get lip filler to achieve those lips. Are you dumb? Super you're dumb. dumb. Lauren, you have the nicest little lip ever look. Yeah, but they're so wonky. Mm -mm. I take your eyebrows as well. But I take your eye colour. My colour? Yeah. Your eyes we have are, similar eye colours. Your eyes are way more green than mine. I think your eyes would Yeah, but I think so cool. if I you had my eyes, you'd look scary. Yeah, I would. Because I want. I'll, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I do. I walk down the stairs like before I go out somewhere. I'm like, mad, do I look scary? I don't ask her if I look nice. Yeah. I'm like, I want to look intimidating. Yeah. Most annoying ick about yourself that you wish you could change. I hate how awkward I get talking to new people. And this happens like on nights out. I don't think, but the thing is, you say this, I do not think you're awkward with new people at all. And we've I obviously experienced it. meeting new people at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah. I feel it in myself. Like I will, so like if me and Lauren go somewhere, you take the lead to, to, to things. But you think I, so? But because I will like take a step back and I'm like, okay, I feel way more comfortable back here. Okay. Do you know? Do you get me? Okay. But I shouldn't feel like that. No. Do you know? No. And like when I go on nights out with my friend, I'll do the exact same thing. And I feel comfortable there, but I shouldn't. Because I feel like I should be like, oh my god, hi, how are you? I'll wait for people to talk to me. And that looks like I'm being a bitch, but I'm genuinely no. just like soaking up what's going on. Like I'm obviously quite an outgoing person, but not everyone is like that. Yeah. But like, but like the thing is, I still think you're quite outgoing. Like you'd have to be... In our job, anyway. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting better at it. No, you don't, like, like, but like, I've never really thought you're bad either. Like, just because yeah. you're a bit more reserved doesn't mean you yeah. don't know what you're doing. Like, I cry when I'm frustrated. Such an ick. Mm. Embarrassing. I'm like, why am I crying? Because I'm annoyed. Oh, what's the worst thing someone has expected from you because you are an influencer? Do you know as well? I don't know if this answers that question, but they expect you to tell them any like anything oh my god, they want yeah. to know. Like, do you oh know what? Someone came up to me and was like, um, they were like, oh, what happened with Olivia and Flossie? I was like. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? I do know, but I didn't at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or like they would say like, oh my God, is Lauren, yeah. is Lauren a bitch in person? Like, is Lauren actually nice? I'm like, no, he, she's actually a bitch. Sure, that's what Keen says. <laughs> like, ke like if Keen's like doing like girls' makeups and stuff, caked with Keen, if you don't know who I'm talking about. If he like has just a, a client, like a regular client, they'd be like, oh, what's Kaylee like? And he's like, yeah, she's a bitch. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? He wouldn't be friends with her if she was a bitch. Yeah. Like, they, they want just the want you to, to be like, oh, they're horrible. Yeah. Like people like thrive off like negative drama. I think. Yeah. Oh, what was it like dealing with social media while in secondary school? You weren't in sec, were you? Um, kind so of. I made like a makeup account in mm. secondary school. People oh, were fine. I don't. I I don't remember people talking about me, but I can presume they were. You know, mm. but you kind of had it full on in secondary school. Oh no, like high key. Like people would, like shout at me in the halls and all. What? What's wrong? 
I don't know. How does it feel to be with the two best looking men in Ireland? Oh my god. You know what? So good. It's streamy. Actually, you know what? It's, having a hot boyfriend is horrible. I don't like it. Yeah, same. I get so no, jealous. <laughs> I'm so... Like, you know what? I never, ever thought I was a jealous person. And then I got with Shane and now I'm like... Look my boyfriend once more and I'm going to actually start to lose this. <laughs> when you have a hot boyfriend... Everyone else thinks he's hot as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously. Like, you know what I get it from like, boys. I'm like, you know what boys come Let's through? go up to Shane and I'm like, you're so hot. Yeah. I'm like. Yeah, or they'll come to me and I'm like, oh my God, they're going to come over now and they're going to be like talking about like what I do and stuff. And they will talk about what I do. And then they're like, and you have the best looking boyfriend in Limerick. And like, he's such a good person. And like, and they'll go on and on about Luke. And I'm like. As if they know. my boyfriend. <laughs> Are you flirting with my boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought I was like that jealous. And then I think it was only the second weekend I went up to him and we were out in Belfast. Girls kept coming up to him like fair enough, like I would as well. You know what? Well, I'm not going like, to... But like coming up because they knew him or coming up because no, they thought he was going to Well, like a bit of both. Like, okay. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, this one girl comes up to him. I was standing there. He literally had his hand on my back like this. Like mm. this is how close we were. Yeah. You're him, right? This girl like walks... Completely just ignores me, straight into his face, grabs his chain, starts playing with his chain and is holding on to like the side of his shirt being like, oh, do you remember me and all? And I was just standing there like literally like, and then she's like, la, 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 and then she just keeps, she wouldn't stop. And then he goes, I'm with, like he didn't even get to finish his sentence. I grabbed, I've never like touched someone before, like this is crazy. I grabbed her hand and I went like this, grabbed it down and I was like, you can leave. And she goes... Oh, sorry, like, hi, I'm like, and I just stepped back. Oh, and is this I was like, didn't see you. Is this, she didn't see you before that, like. She was like, oh, oh hi, Lauren, sorry, like, when, and I was like, I literally stepped back, I was like, you can go. And she was like, oh, I wasn't being rude, and I was like, mm, yes, you were, you can leave. And then she goes, it's my birthday, and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> like, what do you expect me to be like? It's like, happy birthday, you can go shag my fella, no bother, no bother. And she, yeah, she's like, oh, Lauren doesn't like me, and I was like, yeah, no shit, obviously not. No. Like, what do you mean? It's like when you know. Everyone else fancies them as well. Yeah. And you're like, fuck's sake. But then I'm also like, yeah, he's mine. But also, fuck's sake. Yeah, I know. Oh god, look at that lighting. Wow. Come here. Yeah. Wow. Glowy. Sorry, my camera died just as I was about to sign off, but we're all done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it was somewhat entertaining. But you're not boring. No. We're good. Yeah, okay. Right, love you bye. all. Bye. bye.